Hey, yo, G Dash, boy, take your hat off. Fine. This week on Hats Off with G Dash Joe. Y'all know what it is. It's about, it's your boy, G Dash Joe. Y'all don't know what this is? It's another one of those amazing about it. Oh, man. Again, shouts out. This is Hats Off with G Dash Jones. Today's, ooh, let me tell you about today's guest. Today, first of all, first and foremost, I'm going to have my people from Rhythm and Heat and my man Chef Rail. They're going to both be in the building. We're going to be chopping it up. Oh, we're going to talk about some of the things that's going to happen on November 18th uh, at the What's the People Thinking Extravaganza with me and my man D. Harv. Again, it's going to be soulful music. Uh, it's going to be a vibe. You're going to enjoy. You're going to stand up. You're going to sweat a little bit dancing. I'm going to have the spoken word. It's going to be improv. Everything going to take you through a journey of hip hop, but in the soulful bop. You know what I'm saying? Because Harv got, we got the baddest band in the land. Oh, and Rhythm and Heat going to have a grub on deck. Mm, with the seasoning, Chef Rail gonna cook them up. I'm trying to tell you, this is gonna be an adventure like none other. So I'm gonna bring them up shortly to talk about that. Um, then I'm gonna have my man um, M Malcolm Coley. Listen, and we gonna talk about just the whole thing, the whole gaming world, the whole like he started off as a Lock Nation situation. Now he's in the AI. That that boy doing things. So we gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to him, and we and we, we we really gonna kind of get into some. Some of the things, some of the things. All right. Also, listen. So again, I'm G Dash Jones. My show is November 18th. This is Hats Off. Check me out. Look for the hat tip where I review some of the events that just happened recently. You'll see those. That's online. That's on YouTube, on Facebook, everywhere. Boom. Also, I check me out. To, you know, tomorrow I'm gonna post. Um, what I like to call put it on your calendar where I give you a list of the activities that happen within the next week or so boom so check that out again that'll be posted tomorrow you'll have that a little recap and it's done in such a poetic fashion you hear me so I'm gonna do that so check that out uh, like I said we got all, all types of things and even shouts out on the hat tip when I talk about the things I gotta just knock this out Carrie Ann Otano from listen from the Grand Opera House right I, I had somebody give me a testimony Okay, and I and I I, I want to just listen because she likes to have make sure that we get we get a part of the opera because there are black and brown people a part of the opera all colors are a part of the opera and so she wanted me to make sure that I mentioned that the opening night micro gala is they do a biannual and biannual pre performance um, hosted at the Grand before the opera. Pretty much, it's a, got blackjack games. You can you can win up to a thousand dollars grand prize. Uh, all by Opera Delaware. That was on October twenty seventh, and then you could watch. Then they watch Rigoletto. I don't know if I said that right, but that's what it is. All at the Micro Gala. People was all dressed up, decked out. Oh man, all in the baby grand lobby. It was a vibe. They had some drinks, they had some games, and then they got to watch the opera with a full orchestra. So shouts out to Carrie Ann Otano for letting me know about what the opera was like then. So you know. All right, now with that said, I'm gonna start bringing my people up. Right? Let's let's start talking to the people. Bring my man. Listen, so we can kind of get into some of this. Let y'all know what's the people thinking. Let y'all know how that's gonna cook. Listen, because. When I say it's a soulful vibe, right? You're gonna have the good eats, right? You're gonna have the whole energy just up as you need it to be. My man, there, there go my man Rail right here. Yeah, look at him, he's ready to go. Listen, he looked like a chef already. He must have just been cooking. Like, listen, listen. in the kitchen with putting like a short fry. How you feeling, good brother? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great, man. How you feeling? Man, listen, I, I am in a great space. I am in a great space. So, was you just chefing up something? Because you definitely look like you was just chefing up something. <laughs> uh, a little, little, little something, you know, just getting just a little something. Nothing too crazy, just chefing up a little, like, just dinner, dinner-wise. <laughs> I know that's right. So, yeah. so, first and foremost, now, now, you was at the show last time, so I got to ask you. You, me and Ty Mathis, right? We did it. We was at the MKT Place Gallery. This one a little bit different than last time because we got, we're going to have, uh, it's, this time it's going to be Harvey Road, right? Boom. Last time we still had the edibles. We still had the grub. But this time we're going to have a little deluxe libation. You feel me? It's going to be a little sip and sip. So with that said, how would you say, how would you describe the last situation? Uh, last situation was, it was good. It was dope. Like, I feel like the the energy was there. A lot of, a lot of positive vibes out there with everybody. And, like, first of all, you're 
Your energy is always is always up, man. And just from promotion and just the storytelling wise, just both like I, I at one point I literally would just had to was was about to stop and be like, wait, so is this real or is this just like what's it was it was it was a great, great experience. <laughs> Hey, it ain't going on building. I got rid of me. What's oh, happening? Hey, Cheryl. What's up, Cheryl? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Listen, I feel good. I got all of y'all in the building. This feels great. So I was just having Chef Rell describe what it was like last time, right? So because last time I did this, it was with um it was with an artist by name Ty Mathis. He's kind of a folk artist versus Harvey Road, they're sold for R and B and hip hop. So so yeah. so this is gonna be a lot more bops. This is more of the rhythm and Listen, <laughs> okay. Don't tempt us with a good time. <laughs> we ready to bop up. Look, we ready to bop Yes. Up. <laughs> so so I, I, I and, and you know Rail said that you know it comes with the high energy which is the vibe and by the way it's a storyline. Okay. So like everything connects to it like everything's gonna go together in a way and it's gonna feel, it's still improv though it's like wait did you write it where did it come from right. <laughs> secret sauce we got <laughs> secret sauce. Yeah you be yeah, you, you, you putting the words together brother so yeah I already know it's gonna be a vibe man definitely. <laughs> yes yes so speaking of secret sauces so I got rhythm and heat so now. Tell the people a little bit about what Rhythm and Heat does. Mm. Yeah, you want to take the lead? Oh, I can take it. Look, so ry Rhythm and Heat, we, we provide the flavors. Let's just say that. But we're going to provide it in, you know, the flavors with the food. So we do all multicultural low-sodium seasonings. So we hitting, you know, all of the black classics, you know what I'm saying, at a lower sodium, sodium content. Because we need that flavor, right, even though we can't have that much salt, you know? Because you know how the salt yes. is. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, so no. we're just trying to create a safe space to be able to celebrate our food, celebrate mm -hmm. our culture, but have it more intentionally aligned with who and what we're trying to be at this point. Right. So listen, we want to pass down grandma's recipe. We want to pass down auntie's recipe, but we all want them auntie wings, okay? Like, right. We want right. to be vibrant. We want to be excited to continue our traditions, but have it with low sodium seasoning blend. That's so right. That's right. That's rhythm and heat. That's rhythm and heat, baby. Yes. So, so we got low sodium seasoning blend, so you can pass down the flavor without passing down the curses. Oh, there we okay. go. Listen, it's generational. <laughs> Good way to put it. <laughs> it's generational. Here, right? you, sure are, man. you know the recipes are generational. This yeah, is yeah. Bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. so oh, oh, okay. So so real, I gotta ask you, right? You got the seasonings, right? I ain't gonna, I'm gonna tell the people the truth. Okay, real hit me. He said, Yo, I got the seasoning. He so good. That's what he said to me. Okay. My man. I don't know if that's how his face looked, but that's what the text read. Like, this is good. I was like, okay. <laughs> so look, we was hyped. We was hyped that you, you know, you enjoyed them and that you are still enjoying them. So we were hyped to hear that you you, you know, you played around in the kitchen and Chefed up some things. Yeah, we were we were super excited that you enjoyed them. So 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 Rel, what 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 type what, which season packs did you get? Well, I got the um uh, mom the hey the hey, hey mommy mom. hey mommy. Yeah, I, I love that one. I'm kind of been like putting that on just almost that borderline everything. Okay. Just because um just because of the taste of it and um some mushrooms. Mushroom, the mushroom, the mushroom and garlic, like that, yeah. that mixture. I like that one. Um, mm. The jerk, jerk, the jerk seasoning. That's mm. also, that, that, I love that one as well. Yeah. The root the boy is definitely yeah. the, oh man. First, I'm glad. But also another thing, just the, the names, just the, the, the root boy, like the names of them is just what, what sticks out the most, I could say. Thank hey. you, man. Thank you. Look, we try to. We try to not to put them in a box, you know, because if we said it was a chicken seasoning or just, you know, you know how they say it's a beef seasoning, then you would think you can only put it on that. But our seasonings are versatile. It's people that tell us things that they put it on. And we like, oh, we never thought about that. So yeah. the names, you know, they derive from music and just just one in our culture. So what? So 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 how did you decide which seasonings to pick for each thing? Like, how did you know what you were gonna put together? Get your tickets down for the what's the people thinking live music and spoken word improv experience with G Dash Jones and D Hall at the MKT Place Gallery. We got food on deck, we got drinks on deck. Gonna pull up a seat and pull you a shot, then head to the floor, give it all that you got. See my band gonna play and it ain't. 
gon' stop Said there's no one left in this whole damn spot We gon' rock, we gon' roll, we gon' roll, we gon' rock We gon' rock, we gon' roll, we gon' roll Well, honestly, to, to even step back The reason why Rhythm and Heat was created Was because a lot of people said that we needed to open a food truck or a restaurant mm -hmm. And we just weren't in that space to do that but Lance was having issues with blood um, his blood pressure, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Baby, you gotta get it right." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> she was fighting. Him. She was fighting. She didn't want to lower that salt. So. Yeah. So well, not even that. Not that I, I just know. didn't want to change the way I was cooking at the time because I just liked the way I cooked. But yeah. he put a fire into me in me to create a, a more aligned product, and I was already mixing my own seasoning blends at the time. So when we thought about everybody saying. I want this food. I want this food. I want this food. I told him, I was like, it's really the flavor components that you're really looking for. You know how to make all of this because I just throw together, you know, some fresh meat, some fresh produce, some grains. Like it's just, you throw it in the pot, you mix, you play with it, yeah. you experiment. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be able to provide everybody with the flavor yeah. specifically so yeah. that they could recreate it themselves. Yeah. So that's what Lance said as well. We didn't want to put it in a box. We wanted you to be able to explore and to become more confident on your own to seek and search out flavors. So. Yeah. And we was we was coming for the black classics, man. Cajun. Like who who don't like Cajun seasoning to all purpose? <laughs> who don't like jerk? I mean her, her father's from Barbados, so we have you on just the Caribbean style food. So we had to have a jerk curry. You know, it's just literally all the stuff that we already enjoyed in our culture, in the black culture. And we were like, let's just do it with a lower sodium content. So we just was coming for everybody's heads. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So okay, so 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 now because y'all make the seasonings, I, I gotta ask you, what's it like to have other people cook with your seasoning? Mm. That's, that's a whole nother a entity. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. Um I didn't know that it was gonna touch or have that much impact we knew that's what we wanted it to be and we want our wanted our product to do but honestly the the feedback that we've gotten about our seasoning is overwhelming because they're so excited to use it they're like oh i made this with it family members are excited you know the kids are excited they're like oh mom what you put different in here yeah. It allows people the the confidence to be able to navigate something on their own by just like shaking the seasoning on and go. It's very easy, straight to the point. Yeah. And people have been able to make wonderful meals and let us know how wonderful the meals um, they made are. And they also always give us accolades for like, oh yeah, I can tell it's a little bit less salt in here, mm -hmm. and I'm it's still good. Yeah. There's it's not a mess. So yeah. it's good mm -hmm. to hear that people love it. And honestly, it's. It's kind of like a secret ingredient X for people. Mm -hmm. Like nobody wants to say that they're using rhythm and heat to their other family members and friends. They be like, don't even don't worry even about, about it. Don't like, worry about it, sweetheart. Don't even worry about it. Like, no, you need to tell them it's rhythm and heat. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. They, well, they, what you gotta say is don't worry about it, but you might be able to find something like this. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. like you can preserve your <laughs> dignity. It just be like, but you can find a little something like this right. one, you right. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rail, I gotta ask you the opposite question: What's it like for you cooking with some other people's seasons? Like, I know you; I've tasted your food. We had you, you like, like your egg rolls. <laughs> but egg rolls have sold out at the event. Hey. So this is the really, I'm excited. This is the third <laughs> one you did with me because I completely forgot the first one was with Naja Nicole. The second one was with Ty Mathis. This is your third time oh. stepping a deep dash circumstance. Yeah. So, yeah. but your first time using somebody else's seasoning, what's that like? I think it's uh, just an opportunity to try something different and kind of the same at the same, at, in, in the same terms. You know, it's, it's like a second opinion and just seeing what you can do with, with other seasons. And I think the good thing about it is just like with their seasons, it doesn't take away from, you know, the flavor wise having you know it being low sodium that's always i feel like that's like a means to an ends in a yeah. sense where you don't you feel like you don't have to always salt because like with us like we can be pretty heavy-handed with salt you know so <laughs> like you know. Yeah. <laughs> we put salt on like it's the dice dance that right ah, you, yeah. taste it. you just bow 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 like throwing it on there thank you yeah thank you 
That's dope. That's dope. Thank you, bro. Random, just random thoughts, right? Like, as I think about it, so how do y'all know how to gauge whether it's not going to be too spicy or, or, or like, like, how do y'all measure that part? So, like, you know, for the average eater. It's genealogy. You let the ancestors guide you. That's right. You better tap it to your tongue. <laughs> You, you sprinkle some, and if you need a little more, you sprinkle more. So it just, it's just how you cook. You know what I mean? A lot of people like spice. I mean, the people who don't, we do have the milder ones that, oh, yeah. you know, aren't spicy. So it's just, we got what you need. Whatever you need, we got it. But it's all to taste. You can add. That's why it's important to taste your food while you're cooking it. Yes. I mean, the general rule is seasoning. So, I mean, it should just be a copy and paste thing. If you normally use this much seasoning to make your fried chicken you gonna do the same thing like the same the seasoning is the same the only difference is like and i ain't trying to call out no other brands but let's yeah. say some popular cajun brands for example yeah. the sodium content is like 270 milligrams 300 and something milligrams for a quarter teaspoon and that's a, a little, little bit of seasoning like a little that. tiny and like we said, we're not doing that. We're shaking it on. Mm -hmm. So the good thing about our Cajun seasoning bounce, it's only 31 milligrams per quarter teaspoon. Yep. So you can still shake it on like you would normally shake on your other Cajun seasonings. Mm -hmm. But the great thing about it is now you don't have to thin it out. Now mm -hmm. you don't have to add the uh, extra onion, the extra garlic, the extra paprika, the extra oregano. You making your own yeah. seasoning blend. You might right. as <laughs> It's silly. It's already in there. Like, why are you adding more of it? Yeah. But they're trying to uh send out that salt on yeah, it so yeah, yeah. it's the same it's yeah. the same there's put no more on yeah. it look put more ours is low in sodium you can you can put two tablespoons or three tablespoons on and not feel guilty yeah guilt-free flavor yeah 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 mm, that's dope like listen because in my brain like i just realized y'all not just saving lives y'all saving time because, you know, listen, there's some parents out there. They got the children, yeah. you know, got the chillin, got to sure. got to hurry up and get that going. You know what I mean? Get them chillin going. Yeah. Hey, listen, come home, pick the kids up from school, got home from work, got to get the mail. You're going to use that quick rhythm and heat. That's boom, right. boom. Get that thing going. Yes. Mm. Finger licking. It's literally, you can use it in anything. The air fryer, the crock pot, the oven, the stove, whatever you want. It's You can shake it and go, and it's, it's flavor to the max. Shake it and go yes. and it's a go <laughs> yes yes i'm here for it so real what what what, what i don't want to know everything you got on the menu but 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 what, what, what might be a part of the menu or, 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 or on, on of listening. <laughs> next saturday what, 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 what might we be tasting on that saturday what we got well one one of the things i'm i'm trying out again is the shrimp poppers mm -hmm. And I'm going to be incorporating one of the a few of them. Well, yeah, I'm going to be incorporating their seasons into that. That's going to be one of the one of the things that I'm going to be bringing to it. Okay. <laughs> of course, uh, the the egg rolls. I feel like those are like one of my 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 favorite personally. So, get an opportunity to have, have those again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Egg rolls. Yes, me look, too. all of it. I'm ready for all of it. I'm ready to get loud on that. What's one. up, man? What's <laughs> up? Look, I'm yes, yes. Okay, just so I can, in case y'all don't know each other, I brought him up right now my so man. that we can all just be together for a second. So I got my man. Listen, Malcolm. If y'all don't know, if, if Malcolm, just in case you haven't met, uh, rhythm and heat. They right next to you, at least on my screen. Now, y'all next door neighbors. Okay, <laughs> listen. Okay, so, Mouth, what I need you to do next time you go to grab some grub, whoop, next time I need you to go grab some grub or make some grub, right? Talk to Rhythm and Heat. Okay, they got seasoning packs, deliciousness. Yes, sir. Just delicious. Yes, yes. And then also, above you, I got my man Chef Rail. And next time you need somebody to cater something, <laughs> listen, listen. So, 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 so Pete Game, so Pete Game, everybody that's on the live, I already know. Everybody exactly. That's on the live. <laughs> there you go. Yes. So we, we good. Yes. Look, listen, I'm a, I'm a full support of everybody that's on the live right My now because y'all know how we get down. So, yeah, I'm 100%. We all in. Let's go. We tapped in. Let's go. See? Yeah. See? So then I also feel like I don't know what you're doing next Saturday is the 18th, but you might as well come see your boy because they got, listen, you go ahead and get this deluxe situation. They have, you know what I'm saying? It's going to come with the food, okay? You're going you gonna, to, it's going to be me, Harvey, D. Harvey, Harvey Roll with the funk. Like, you're going to be like, mm. so I don't know how your shoulders work, Malcolm, but if your shoulders <laughs> okay, get, get it in, you're going to have, you might, listen, 
we gonna be up, we gonna be dancing in the MKT place gallery. Then, you, in, like, you ever had a food so good that you dance oh, with it? That's what yeah. they gonna have chefed oh, up. Yeah. So okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> so and then I'm gonna do some spoken word. I'm gonna take you through a storyline. You'll be like, wait, is this true or not? What happened? We are gonna take you through a whole world, right? Wow. And the deluxe also includes a, a libation, okay? A little deluxe spirit, something that's going to get you, just, you know what I mean? Not too much, but just enough, okay? <laughs> right, Val? You know, and, and I got a little edible if you choose to partake. Again, that's included in the deluxe situation. You see what I'm saying? Do oh, we're going to get you right. We're going to listen. Do tell, my friend. Do tell. <laughs> okay, listen. I want Malcolm locked. I want Malcolm locked, okay? Locked. So we're going to have a good time. Locked and loaded, look. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. So with that said, oh man. So first, um, Rel, you got anything to say before I get you up out of here and I I, I lock in with Malcolm? Hey man, and uh, be looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, just want to say thank you for this and just getting the chance to rock out with you guys. Absolutely. Go. Absolutely. And he does private catering. I don't know why he's being humble right now. So, okay. <laughs> like, boom. Listen, bro, give me a word real quick. Uh, um, catering. Catering. All right, I'm not using it now. I'm using it later. Hopefully, I remember. Listen, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did some things in the early 2000s. I don't know about my memory. All right, catering is what we go with. Okay. Rhythm and heat. Y'all got anything y'all would like to say before I, before I get y'all up out of here? Yeah. Mm. So, listen, we want y'all to know Y'all already know Thanksgiving is on the way. Mm -hmm. Y'all right. in the kitchen, y'all the aunties, y'all the uncles now. We like y'all got to bring the food to the functions. That's right. And no, you're not bringing paper cups and oh. plates oh. and napkins. Leave the Pepsi's we, at home. You good? We, we got bringing <laughs> real dishes this Thanksgiving. So we're working on some some real good deals for you. Some jumbo some sizes, sizes for you, so that you can confidently make your meals for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. And have people put some respect on your name and not play with you. So, <laughs> thank you, y'all. We got, we got that heat coming. We got, we got some other things. Put some respect on oh, your food with rhythm and heat, and they'll put respect on your name. Okay. Yes. Yes. But right now, you can purchase our seasonings at www.rhythmandheat.com, or mm. you can buy them directly from Instagram, directly from TikTok. And if you want to walk around and get to know your town, you can check them out at Green Box Green Kitchen. Box. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shout out to Jason, Box. right? Get people. yourself a juice while you're at it. Yeah, there. Okay. And a smoothie. And, and you get the avocado toast. The <laughs> avocado toast has fajita Rita on it. Avocado and it toast. Is, all the food is good at Green Box. Yeah. But that avocado toast. They use our seasons on the avocado toast. So, yeah. Thank you, Green Box. Mm. Mm. Make your milli rock. <laughs> <laughs> I am here for this. I'm here for all of this extravaganza. So with that I'm said, Chef here Rail, yes, 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 Chef Rail, Rhythm and Heat. Ah, oh, man, I appreciate y'all for joining again. Listen, listen, I, 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 let the world play this back. Let the world play that Real. part back. We need okay. a part two. Damn, man, look, this is fun. I'm having a good time. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh y'all coming back. Okay, y'all. This part two. Yeah, 18th. Absolutely. Part two. We ain't playing? Absolutely. It's lit. Yeah. We lit. All right. With that said, I appreciate y'all. Now I'm about to hey. tune into my man. I want I want y'all, you, you know, y'all can sit back. Watch, oh, yeah. watch, we watch with we this man. Check my man Malcolm out. That's my dog, man. Yeah, like, we're going to tap in. Like, 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 let's do it. Drop the gems, man. I do. Yeah, we gonna tap right. on the best, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. But yes. thank you so much for the opportunity and everything, man. We appreciate you. Yeah. No problem. I appreciate y'all for joining. All right. All right. We'll see y'all. All right. All right. Peace. Peace.